Hydratite is an internal joint sealing system that offers customized mechanical remediation without expensive excavation. The Hydratite system offers a flexible, mechanical, trenchless repair with immediate return to service, minimum prep work, rapid installation with no hot work, and a design life of up to 50 years. With over 30,000 Hydratite seals in service, this technology offers a proven solution to the water, gas, sanitary, and power industries. The Hydratite system is a recognized method of joint repair by the AWWA M28. The Hydratite system consists of an EPDM rubber seal, stainless steel retaining bands, and an optional test valve. The rubber seal is manufactured in one piece to match the internal diameter of the pipe. This system can be utilized in pipe diameters ranging from 18 to 218 inches. The seal is available in three different widths to accommodate a variety of joint dimensions, the standard 11 inch, the extra wide 14 and a half inch, and the double wide 21 and a half inch. Hydratite utilizes a rib design to ensure a watertight seal on the pipe. The EPDM seal incorporates groove channels to ensure proper seating of the retaining bands. Retaining bands are provided in one piece for small diameter pipes and multiple pieces to accommodate tight entries into large diameter pipes. The retaining bands are positioned on the seal, then expanded to compress the seal against the pipe walls. A wedge system is used to lock the retaining bands in place. This wedge lock system provides the greatest degree of flexibility while retaining the lowest possible profile. As an option, the Hydratite seal is equipped with a stainless steel test valve to allow the installed seal to be tested for leaks before the pipe is put into service. Since installation is typically in pipes, installation equipment and procedures follow OSHA requirements for confined space entry. Tools required for installation include the necessary tools needed for surface preparation, pipe lubricant, hydraulic expander, and an air test kit for seal testing, if applicable. The Hydrotite seal is manufactured and installed in eight steps. The first step is to evaluate the pipe and operating conditions. Ask the following questions. What is the inside dimension of the pipe? What process fluid is flowing through the pipe? Is it a pressurized pipe or a gravity pipe? What is the gap in the joints or area of the joint repair? What is the surface of the pipe? Is there a significant offset in the pipe joint and what type of access is required? This step enables the seal to be manufactured correctly. It defines the diameter of the seal, width of the seal, amount of bands required, material of the system, type of surface preparation required, and if the seal requires more than one piece bands. The second step, once the hydratite is manufactured, is to prepare the surface. The surface area where the joint is to be installed should be cleaned to ensure any loose debris, scale, or corrosion products are removed. The intent of the cleaning is to have a smooth, stable surface so the rubber will provide a good seal. The third step, once the seal assembly has been loaded, is lubrication. The hydratite seal in many cases needs to be lubricated on its sealing surface to assist in adjusting the rubber at the joint. Make sure the seal is parallel to the joint. The fourth step is to install the retaining bands in the grooves of the rubber seal. The fifth step is to expand the bands. The bands have four main areas, the push tab, the ear, the shim, and the wedges. The expansion tool expands the push tabs and the ear making the retaining band's diameter larger and compressing the rubber. The shim is installed between the band and the rubber before expansion so the wedge can be installed. The expansion process is determined by the pump's pressure, which is limited by the hydratite procedure. This pressure is dictated by the thickness of the bands and diameter of the pipe. The sixth step is wedge installation. The wedge is installed at the gap provided by the expansion process. The size of the opening is measured and the appropriate wedge is selected. The wedge is then inserted into the space provided. Wedge insertion is generally performed by a brick hammer. The size of the wedge should be slightly more than the opening available. After the wedge is installed, the expander is removed. The seventh step is to expand the bands after 30 minutes because the rubber may flow or creep, causing the bands to relax. 
If after re-expansion the gap size has increased for the wedge, a larger wedge must be installed. Remove the small test plug fitting located in the test valve and insert the threaded connector and hose attached to an air supply. Pressurize the back of the seal to 5 psi. The seal should expand outward or balloon. If there is a large opening in the joint, it may not be possible to back pressure the joint. While the seal is pressurized, use a solution of soapy water to spray around the edges of the seal to detect any leakage. On the rare occasion leakage is detected, determine the cause and fix the situation, which may include additional surface preparation and re-expansion of the seal. Remove the test hose, depressurize the seal, and replace the test valve fitting. Multi-piece bands are utilized in larger seals and for seals that have pipe access limitations. Unlike a one-piece band, the multi-piece bands consist of ears that are slotted and fastened with two bolts. Multi-piece bands provide for more expansion points and flexibility in the expansion process. This process can be used to stretch the rubber where two pipes have a different diameter. Examples include concrete to steel joints and cured in place liner and seals. Additional bands can be used to provide reinforcement in the center due to head pressure. Backing plates can be utilized in pressure pipe situations to provide a structural backing without the seal backing being extruded through a void. The hydrotite seal is also used as an internal slip joint to allow movement and replace expansion joints in cooling water systems. The seals can be interlocked to span long lengths of pipe. This interlocking technology allows the seal to span over longer lengths of defects in a pipe. The hydrotite seal can be used in unique shapes, such as in elliptical piping, as well as box seals. This flexibility makes hydrotite an economical solution. When it comes to sealing almost any size or type of pipe, hydrotite is economical, effective, and dependable. Call us today. Bottom Line Productions, where our focus and action is your bottom line.